Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at the switch function. Now the switch function is new to Excel 2016 so I'm afraid if you're using a version prior to 2016 right now it's not around yet but it will come and it is a logical function in Excel. So it's a great alternative to nested if functions. So when you're testing something multiple times, because the switch function only refers to the reference once, it can provide a more concise way of doing it. So let's see an example in action. I've got two to show in this video. In this first one, let me start up my switch function. See, it will evaluate an expression against a list of values. It's quite similar to choose. If some of you watching this have seen me demonstrate the choose function before, the only difference is the choose function has to refer to a index number and switch doesn't. So in this example, my expression is a text value. I'm testing these memberships. If you have a red membership, this discount, green, this discount, yellow, this discount, any of them uh, is not valid. So my expression is B2, in goes to comma, and then we list the conditions and actions. So as I was saying, in the if function, you would generally refer to the expression multiple times. You know, if B2 equals red, if B2 equals green. But you only refer to B2 once in the switch. So the value, I want to know if it's red, comma, the result will be, what shall we say, let's say 2% discount for, uh, well, that's, a, that's a bit weak isn't it, let's say 10% for red, <laughs> comma, now let's provide another one, let's say what if they've got a green membership, what do we do there, well let's, let's say 14%. And what if it's a yellow membership? Well, let's, let's, let's increase it, shall we? Uh, let's say they're going to get an 18% discount. And you can see in the box below, maybe, it's always prompting for a default value. Now, you don't have to provide one. It's optional. But I can do that now and say, look, if, it, if it's not red, green, or yellow, if it doesn't meet any of those conditions, then display the text, not a valid membership let me just stick my eye in that valid and close in bracket so when I do that and copy it down I can see red is 10% green is 14 yellow is 18 continues to work if I type in brown for one of those not a valid membership so that switch function is working it just refers to the expression once and then you list the alternatives. If it's that, this, that, this, that, this. Not any of them. Now one unfortunate thing with switch, it has to be said, is that you cannot use uh, symbols uh, such as your greater than or your less than signs when performing these tests with the switch function. It has to be either a number or text, but we can't put in those logical expressions the greater than the less than. So that's a bit of a shame, uh, but it's still extremely useful. Got a demonstration here of it, and on the other sheet, another demonstration. Now, please don't read too much into this. This is not meant to be a mind-blowing um, uh, spreadsheet, but I've just set up three tables that are right next to what I'm working with for the purpose of learning, rather than amazing spreadsheet layout. And uh, you can see I've got red, green and yellow and slightly different discounts. So this time, I'm going to get VLOOKUP to look up in the right table, depending if they're red, green, yellow, and also depends how much they order. So it's handling two conditions really now. So let me put my VLOOKUP in there, return the discount they will get. The lookup value is to look for you know, the, the price that they, uh, that they ordered. <coughs> comma and the table array is where the switch is going to get that information for us the expression is 
cell B2. The value, here we go again, if it's red. But this time, I'm referring to a range of cells. Let me fix that. And then what if it's green? I refer to the table to look in. Where's green? It's down here. And then yellow. I refer to the table. Here we go. Make it absolute. If not any of those, not a valid. Just going off the screen, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'll be back on real soon. Let's run that. Oh, and I made a mistake on this. I'm sitting in the Vila Cup. Sorry. Comma 2. Refer, return a discount. Uh, oh, this is going to be a true, sorry, approximate match. So I went through the end bit quite quick there, guys. I'm going to open it on screen. Let me just show it working, first of all. Red memberships 168, 14%. Green, 93. Uh, where are we? In here, 4%. Yellow, 110 uh, in here, 6%. It is working. Let me move along and try and open up that formula. It looks worse than it is, trust me. <laughs> I have to go one more over to get that on my screen. Look at that. Perfect width on the screen. <laughs> VLOOKUP function. Look for the amount they ordered. What table? I'll tell you what, let's get switch to return the table. All of that is the switch. The expressions B2. If it's red, that range. Green, that range. Yellow, that range of cells. Otherwise, it's not a valid cell. Return column 2. The discount from VLOOKUP. Approximate match. That is another example of the tremendous switch function. Uh, to repeat what I said at the start of this video, it is released in Excel 2016. So you're not going to have it yet if you don't have that version. But it is to come uh, when you get that, that version or maybe the version later in this as it's released next year. You will have the switch function in there. And, you know, we don't need it. We can write nested ifs. There's other alternatives as well. But it just provides a little bit more uh, condensed, kind of summarised version when having to test a value or an expression, as they call it in this function, multiple times. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.